What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today it is a fill a bag day here at CDS Palace. Yes, it's a fill a bag day where you pretty much you come in here, you get a bag, and you can fill up the entire bag for fifteen dollars. All the items that you can shove in that bag is only one price, fifteen dollars. So, but the only catch is these items have been left over on their like consecutive days of past restock. So they restocked on this past Saturday and every day their prices drop and all the items are still in the bins. So fill a bag day is whatever's left, you can come in here and fill a bag up for that one price of $15. So let's see if I can come in here and find some good items or not. You never know on fill a bag day. What's going on? Doing all right? So let's go get started as we try to get through the doors. You can see it's a little bit crowded just in the beginning trying to get inside, but there's not too many people here. So I should be able to find some okay items. I did come on a mission trying to find something in particular like the San Francisco shirt. I knew that was here there and I also knew there was a few more. I wanted to go ahead and grab those just for my personal use and maybe I can resell a few as well. Yes, if you look in all the bins, it really doesn't look like there's many items for profit but if you dig and you actually go through the items you will find some profitable items it does take time to go through these items and sort them out but it can be worth it i'm only going to be in the store for around 10 to 15 minutes at the most because fill up bag days are really pretty quick as you can see so far the majority of the items that i am shoving in my bag are brand new sealed cds and dvds those are the items that I try to come and definitely grab. I don't care what they are because you can definitely make a little bit of money off CDs, especially sealed items. Anything sealed is usually golden. Finally, through all the searching, I finally find some USPS hats. These are the hats that I was originally looking for. They had 50 in the store and I can't believe we're only down to like two or three that I'm seeing in here now. I love fill a bag day so much because of the price. I mean, the cost of good into each item will be pennies after I shove all these items and only pay $15 for it. Hundreds of items in one bag for $15. Come on, you can't beat that. Obviously, some of the items won't be good. I will have to redonate, give away, or even trash, but it's worth my time 20 minutes running in and out of the store trying to find some items for $15. Walking past these bins and they're completely empty is pretty funny because on restock days, they are full and you can find so many good items in here. And then people come buy all this stuff and then this is what you have left on a fill up bag day. A lot of people watching this video will say there's nothing, I'm putting nothing in the bag and I'm wasting my time. But when it's all said and done and we go over all the items that I grabbed, like this chain, we'll see if it was a waste of time or not. Would you take your time 20 minutes to come in a store knowing that you could fill up a bag for $15? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think I wasted my time? Do you think this is a good strategy for your eBay or Amazon store? I love coming to the bins because you'll see a lot of books that people forget about. You'll also see bags that people were just too lazy to get opened. You will run across items that are absolutely no good as well. And then those items you find that you know a family member can use them. There's so many items for everybody in the bins. Me being a reseller, I just love it. Again, fill a bag days are just amazing. Like these water filters that I've grabbed about a good 20 of, I can sell them for like $5 a piece, lock them up and make my money back on fill a bag day times seven. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bag, reorganize everything and just set everything on the floor and try to shove everything into this bag that they give you. This is all the stuff that I had in my bag initially and I need to fit it in this bag right here because that's the bag that they give you. These are the items that I have already thrown away in the buggy and now it's time for me to get this stuff in this bag. I think I did good. So I'm at the house and it was a pretty decent fill of bag day. I got all these items for $15. I'm gonna go ahead and dump like all the items on the floor right here and then we're gonna review all of the items that we grab. So we have everything out 
Uh, I'm not gonna go and put comps by every single thing that I got. Uh, normally I will put comps by everything, but on filler bag days, it's just a lot of items to go through, edit that video, and then put comps by those items as well. But just see all the items that we grabbed here. I got all these items for $15. It's probably over a hundred items for $15. So let's go ahead and do a nice little quick breeze through. And as I did check some comps over the weekend as I was going, um, I did check the comps on the filters and then I did check comps on the hats, obviously. But yeah, so don't expect comps on everything. Gotcha. <laughs> So first you're gonna see this airship hat. Hat. It's an Among Us hat. Izzy likes Among Us, so you know. And then all of these books right here, I did go through and check comps on all of the books. Uh, this book is brand new sealed, so figured we'll make some good money on there, like around $12 or so. This book only gonna make like $4. This book's only like $4. This book is like around seven or eight. And this book, I saw a recent comp for like 20 or so. That's why I grabbed it. But then again, a lot of people are trying to sell them for like four or five bucks as well. Then I needed something for my iPhone, so I got an iPhone 12 case, so that's gonna be good for me. Then we found this chain in here. This is a necklace, a New Day necklace. It's cost $14.99 formally. Don't know anything about it, but that's what it is right there. And then you got all of these USPS hats. This is probably the main reason I went back. They probably had like 40 or 50 of these hats in the bins the other day, but going back today, I only found four and that's kind of disappointing because they had, like I said, 50 or 60 on $3 day. But hopefully in these hats, I'll make my money back on their own. I'm probably gonna put one up on auction on Instagram, to be honest, to see if I can make $15 <laughs> on this whole lot. But anyways, yeah, so these hot hats was the main reason I went back. I was hoping to get more than four, but I will take those four. Then we're gonna have this, looks like uh, look like some kind of carburetor or something that I did end up Googling it. I looked up this number right here. Hopefully I might leave a screenshot by that. I think this item might be selling for like 40 bucks or maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, maybe I'll leave a screenshot next to this item just because it's unique. Um, then we're gonna go through all of these CDs right here. You may probably see nothing unique, but these are just a bunch of CDs that I grabbed because if they are sealed, I grab them. I don't care what they're worth. No one, one or two of these CDs could be worth like around 10 bucks. Some can only be worth five, but at the end of the day, I got them all for $15 a part of this fill of bag. So with that being said, yeah, I'm going to make at least $15 probably in the CDs alone. And then this VGA to HDMI adapter, those come in handy. Somebody can use one of those, probably like 15 bucks. Smartphone car holder, I need it for myself. Same thing with the D CDs, I did with the DVDs. If they're sealed, I grabbed them. So anything sealed, I did grab sealed DVDs. You're probably gonna make it like around six, $7 on, maybe not even that on some DVDs. Some DVDs you can make a little bit more, but this one I should make a pretty a good, decent haul on. I got some masks just because they were Sonic the Hedgehog, and then those intrigued me as well, looked evil. This graffiti, wrist pad this is a wrist pad for like keyboards these are selling pretty consistently for like around 10 to 15 bucks so i gotta figure out exactly which one this is and i should make again half of my money back on this lot just in that found a remote control in the bin i feel like i've sold one of these before for like around eight or nine bucks 888 or something like that so i grabbed it i looked these up on like six dollar day and these packs are only going for like five or six dollars a piece but it's the same band so maybe i can lock them up and sell them for like around 15 14 dollars then we found these baby bibs that i got for my sister-in-law because she has a baby and as you can see there are a few bibs in there so you know i'll give her a set and then i'll make profit on the other set or something like that i don't know we'll see then these bunch of baby beads these look kind of creepy to be honest it's like a bunch of babies uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just a bunch of random small babies. I grabbed it just because I don't know what it's for and somebody might buy it. This is a Raider shirt and these are Patriot shirts. And then as you can see, these are a bunch of 49er shirts. I am a 49er fan. I grabbed all of them just so I can grab them make sure I have my size in one of those shirts. And then we're gonna see all of these water filters right here. These are two different brands of water filters. I have several of the Cristalas and, and several of the Glacier Fresh. I feel like I've sold one of these brands before. Um, the other one, not so much. I did Google and look at them up. It looked like two and three packs were going for anywhere between like 12 and $17. So I'll just have to lot them up in packs how they probably already came. Um, be careful when selling filters as well because a lot of people do get in trouble for 
for selling certain brands on certain filters. So I'm not really sure if these are ones to stay away from or if you can sell them, but I'm gonna try to list them and see what happens. Obviously I see a bunch of sellers selling them, but that really doesn't mean anything because we know how eBay is, how it's picky and choosy. But yeah, that's literally all the items that I grabbed today. Oh, except for this, uh, this is like a grill cover. I forgot what it's called, but it's some kind of grill cover or couch cover, or it's just like the brand, whatever the brand this is, they make covers for furniture and things like that. The lowest priced one I saw was like 30 something dollars. So just gotta size it up, see exactly which one it is. And if I can get it out real quick, I can tell you what it is. King Do Way. That's what it is, King Do Way. I don't make this stuff up. I hope y'all can see that, King Do Way. So yeah. So I'm gonna make $15 back definitely in this haul. Everything was $15 again. You saw that over a hundred and something items for 15 bucks. Yeah, can't beat that. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed. And if you don't enjoy content like this, obviously you don't have to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, thanks for tuning in anyway and just checking out what kind of content I do provide. But yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out.